What is up everybody? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another review for a film that uh, probably nobody's ever heard of or wants to watch, but I'm going to give a review for it. So here it is, guys. The weirdest title that I've seen in a movie for a long, long time. There's something wrong with the children. Margaret and Ben take a weekend trip with their longtime friends, Ellie and Thomas, and their two young children. Eventually, Ben begins to suspect something supernatural is occurring when the kids behave strangely after disappearing into the woods overnight. There's something wrong with the children. Or this should be titled, There's Something Wrong with the movies that I've been watching lately because what the hell. So I might sound like a broken record, but I really think that January has been off to a great start. We had movies like Megan, Plane, and a movie that you all need to go see called Dormouse. It's freaking amazing. And uh, this one's this one's a little bit uh, hard for me because there is a lot of good stuff in this film, particularly at the end of the film. There's some really interesting things starting to happen. It kind of reminds me of a movie I really enjoyed that came out last year called Barbarian. The There's a similar feel to the way that it's progressed and then the big reveal or surprise happens at the third act. And it's very similar to Barbarian in that sense. But I think, again, much like a movie I watched before, go check that out called Snowfalls. Because like I said in the Snowfalls review, if you have characters that are so terrible, the worst human beings ever, first of all, it makes me sad because I'm just like, dude, hu humans really suck. And also it just kind of just takes me out of the film because I'm like, again, I already dealt with, uh, you know, terrible people in real life. I don't want to see that in my escapism. Okay, but for real, these characters are really terrible. We're kind of stuck with them for the first two acts of the film, just them talking about their terrible lives and how they suck at being parents and how they suck at being friends. And it gets really, really tiring really fast. You're kind of just sitting there wanting something to happen. When is there going to be something wrong with the children? <laughs> but like I said, the reveal that they have in here is kind of interesting, even though that I feel like the payoff at the end of the film doesn't really work for me, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because the entire time I'm watching this film, I just want it to end because I don't care about these characters. I'm not invested in them. They're not likable. The thing that's happening with the kids, like I said, while it's interesting, I'm just not really invested into it. And I think it's a shame because I do think that this movie is well directed. I think it's well like paced and everything. Uh, the actors are fine. You know, the kids are creepy, you know, the kids in general are creepy, but but just the execution of the script and the storytelling and the characters, it's just not good. Another thing that I thought was kind of funny and annoying at the same time is, you know, in horror films where they do a jump scare for some horror films, not all horror films do this, but, you know, they play the music, you know, very intensely scary music or something, and then they, you know, cut it out and everybody's waiting for the jump scare. They do this in this film, but they also play music, like suspenseful music, during scenes that are like not really suspenseful or <laughs> are unnecessary. So they'll play some like really intense music and they're like, okay, this is an intense part, get ready. But here we go. We got another straight to VOD horror film in January that um, is just not, good not a, not for me <laughs> but again guys not everybody shares my opinion so let me know what you thought of this film if you checked it out in the comments down below did you like this film did you hate this film what do you think of this title is this like the longest title you've seen i don't think so no because we got a movie right here called everything everywhere all at once i mean that's a pretty long title and it's pretty mouthful but guys don't forget to check out my twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and remember guys keep watching movies